Welcome back boys and girls. So what we're doing right now is we're going to go ahead and look at this data here and answer the following questions. We're going to put it into this chart here and we're working on page 145 in your first grade hybrid math workbook. So remember I've talked to you about this before boys and girls. We've got to become really great at reading because if we don't then this is going to be really tough. Okay so you've got to practice reading every single day. So let's go ahead and take a look at number one. This says the list shows the number of pets Irene saw at the pet store. So let's take a look at the data that we have. We have puppy, bird, cat, bird, cat, bird, puppy, 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 cat, cat, bird, cat, cat, cat. Then it tells you, organize the pets that Irene saw at the pet store into the chart. So let's go ahead and let's put these into the chart. So first, let's count the number of puppies. We have one, two, three, four, we have four puppies. Now let's count the number of cats. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cats. And now let's take a look at how many birds she saw. One, two, three, four birds. Okay, so she saw four puppies, she saw seven cats, and she saw four birds. Now let's go ahead and answer these questions. Question A. Okay, did Irene see more cats or puppies at the pet store? Cats or puppies? Let's see. She saw seven cats. She saw four puppies. So she saw more cats. Now let's take a look at question B. Okay, that says, you know, did Irene see more puppies or birds at the pet store? We have puppies or birds. She saw four puppies. She saw four birds. Isn't that the same? It is, so we're just gonna write same. Let's take a look at question C. What animal did the pet store have the most? Cats, right, because they had seven cats. So the pet store had more cats. What animal did the pet store have the least? Well, puppies and birds, right? So we're gonna write puppies and birds. And finally, the last question says, what animal do you think Irene will buy? Well, guess what, boys and girls? This last question is really up to you. If you like puppies, go ahead and write puppy. If you like cats, go ahead and write cats. If you happen to love birds, go ahead and write birds. I'm going to go ahead and write. Okay, what do you think I'm going to write? I'm going to write. I think she's going to buy a puppy. Okay? And that's how you do it, boys and girls. So you have quite a bit of problems to do. Go ahead and do sets one and two. If you need your parent to help you read them, by all means, go ahead, okay? So go ahead and practice. And if you, get, if you need help, if you get stuck with the reading, remember, ask your parent, but we got to practice reading, okay? Because it's really, really important, boys and girls. So we'll see you at the next video, okay? Bye-bye.